for the East African uh, community and whatever was said around it, um, first, uh, by the way, I did not attend uh, that. I, I couldn't attend two things at the same time. In fact, uh, it happened when I was in Argentina attending the Group of 20 Summit, the G20 Summit. I think it happened exactly the same date. Uh, but even then, whenever there is a reason, you will find one leader or the other not attending, but countries attend. It's not the summit, yes, involves the heads of state, but uh, it involves even more the countries. Countries participate, and once they have representation, then it's, it's a good. Uh, so, uh, for Burundi, I have seen what has gone back and forth. One part is uh, from what I read and things, Burundi has sought to uh, give an impression that actually they have no other problem except Rwanda. <laughs> well, I, I will not say much to that. I leave it to whoever wants to make a judgment on the basis of what they know, what they would want to know, to be able to do that. But it is also in the same way I mentioned to you that we have had uh, all kinds of provocations from Burundi and we have not uh, fallen for that. We have not uh, uh, been sucked into these provocations and, and because I think that would be giving them what they want and, and, and also trying to prove their point that they have no other problem except Rwanda. So we, we, that one, we have managed it, we will continue to manage it, we have no qualms about that. Uh, but the rest, there are other issues really that are not Rwanda, about Burundi, which maybe they should uh, be helped with uh, in finding a solution uh, within uh, the East African community uh, framework where countries can work together to address a particular uh, country's problems. I have heard of uh, all kinds of stories about uh, the person from Burundi who is the East African Community Secretary General who has so that can't be Rwanda. When there are issues of mismanagement and to, to a very high degree within the East African Community Secretariat's management, it has nothing to do with Rwanda. But that is something also that can be handled by the institutions of East African community that really uh, Rwanda can contribute to, but it doesn't play a bigger role than uh, anyone else. So going forward, I think our record is very clear how we have uh, uh, intended to do everything within our power as a country, Rwanda, to promote uh, regional integration, to promote the well-being and cooperation of everyone, with everyone in the region, and we will continue uh, to do so. Um, I have heard also all kinds of stories and read some of the things being said, oh, Rwanda is, uh, is not interested in the East African community. In fact, 
when I, I, I heard you say that I, I was not there in this last summit, I thought that's what you are coming to because that's what some other people said. So, but it seems to us not what you are saying. Uh, secondly, I have heard uh, something saying, you know, I think uh, Rwanda and Burundi, uh, well, they don't talk about South Sudan, they talk about Rwanda and Burundi, that maybe they were not ready uh, to join East Africa. Uh, they should have been made to wait. Uh, on that, I, I just uh, tell, I hope one day uh, that will come up uh, maybe with me, whether in the media or with anybody, I have something to say whoever, to, to whoever thinks like that. That one, on record, there isn't, any, there isn't anyone who can claim to be working better for East Africa than ourselves, than Rwanda. Rwanda, no, there isn't anyone. Second, Rwanda to have joined the, the East African community was our choice, but I think it was also our right. And uh, I would tell whoever that uh, it wasn't anybody doing us a favor. When, when we joined the East African community, we had not been uh, kneeling down to people or bowing to people to give us this great favor uh, for which uh, people can uh, keep pointing fingers uh, uh, at us. I don't think it's no favor we saw to anyone. We thought it was a good thing. We thought it was the right thing. We thought it was actually our right <laughs> to be there. And uh, we, we benefit from others and we benefit others as well. This is why we joined the East African community. Uh, otherwise, if East African community was a monopoly of some few, and, and that was the basis on which they created it, then I think uh, it was a wrong premise from the beginning. So count on me and inform those you, you reach that uh, Rwanda isn't anybody going to contribute better towards the uh, the integration and the cohesion of the East African community than uh, we are trying to to do, right? <laughs>